Hello everyone, my name is Soulmonger and I'd like to welcome you guys back to more Knack. And in this episode, 7-1, the best defense is always a good offense. And in this case, we have the goodest, the best, the most amazing offense of them all in Knack. And why can't I go over there? I wanted to see if I could go left then, darn it. Okay. So I'm reduced to taking the top route, and I'm also reduced to being a bodyguard or an enforcer, possibly even a bouncer. And there was traps, of course. But we survived it, because we are Knack. And let's destroy these guys like that. Don't get hit with that boomerang. Oh my goodness. So last time, we learned of a whole bunch of shenanigans going on and what could be happening with the story and all that good stuff. How do we get through this? Wow, how do you make it through there without setting those off? I wonder if you can jump on them. Let's try that out. No, we'll just wait for them to blow up then. There we go, perfect. And we don't know if Charlotte's making stuff for the goblins or not, but I'm guessing that has something to do with the story, otherwise they would not have mentioned that at all. And I think the professor would like that to be the truth so that he knows Charlotte is still alive. You know, I guess that's understandable, even if she is working for the evil goblins, or maybe she's being forced to work for him. So, we're just going to be cruising on with Knack. We don't have Big Knack. I miss Big Knack already. I like Big Knack. Because you can kind of just blitz through everything, including these boxes and crates that conveniently have nothing in any of them. Why are they even here then? I bet you those goblins were just making them. They were having a box off, yeah. Going for the world record of boxing. Just like the Papa John's pizza delivery man. He holds the record, this, this, this guy. I don't know. I saw it on the news. I was watching the news. I thought I could get educated. And that's what the news teaches me. About the Papa John's box folding boy. Yes. Thank you, news. Thank you. And thank you for this doohickey we got here. We got almost a complete thing for the transmutter. We just need one more. Real nice. So out we go. And back over here next to these remaining boxes. And maybe I could get the world record for breaking these. Is there a point for me breaking these? I don't think so. Let's just move on here. There was a secret to the right, so that's good we got that. Hey, over here. That a boy knack. This guy is coming for me. Seriously, no! Wow, this guy could be good. He holds the world record for most swings in 10 seconds with three. Congratulations. And he just got cut off. He couldn't jump over there, even though he just made an epic landing. All right, so we're gonna have to defeat that guy coming up pretty soon. Either that, or we're gonna have to break his record and really grind his gears. Both of them. Yes. I went there. And so now we got double battery. We only need two more for that. Real nice. I'm excited to fight this guy. It's been a while since we fought a boss. And here he is again. Oh, and he has killed us. Game over. Goblins win! Oh my goodness, we gotta start way back here. Come on, buddy. We should be counting his swings. One, two, three. See, I was right. Three. Three swings. Alright. Moving on. I don't think we have to go down there. Let's just bypass these guys. All right, we gotta be careful here. Jump brain swings, perfect. Get up and over, nice. No secrets around here, take these guys off quick. Awesome, I probably didn't need to use my power there, but I do wanna move things along. Probably could have saved it though for him. I'm guessing we're gonna be having an epic showdown pretty soon of epic proportions, and here he is again. He's just like scaling the wall. Hey, this is a really thin wall. I didn't know you were walking on this thin of wall. I'm kind of scared of heights. Come on, Nack, seriously. Let's just have our showdown not here where one of us could fall and potentially break a foot, possibly even a toe. Oh, let's not do that, Nack. Let's go to higher ground. Oh, see, told you. There he goes. That's for sure a broken femur or a small toe. Probably both. Hopefully not the small toe, though. That takes forever to heal. The femur, that, you can walk that off. That's no big deal. 
These guys are shooting their cotton candy guns at me. Let's grab all these sandstones here. Alright guys, what you got, what you got? I do the serpentine patterns, you can't hit me. You can't hit me. Oh yeah. I realize that that jump move, this one right there, doesn't really take off any hit points for them if they had hit points. Or it doesn't do any damage. But it's a good thing to kind of like initiate yourself into battle. It's like kind of like your war cry. Except in a more violent form of a smashing flying ball into your enemy's torso, face, or upper head region where you would wear a nice two gallon cowboy hat if you had one. Which which I do. It's my pride and joy. Great job, Knack. Check this out. The trackers look just like relics, don't they? Hmm. So, have we made enough? I hope so. Let's go spread some of these around town. Uh, Lucas, stay behind and make a few more. We might need them later. Interesting. This kid's been on this journey with us all along, and now you're making him stay behind? Hmm. Something's gonna happen to him. I'm guessing something that's not good either. Another kidnapping, maybe? I feel bad for the kid. Keeps getting kidnapped and stuff. At least I have a set of skills where I will find you and I will hunt him down. The perpetrator of the Taker. Because I am Knack. And you are watching Taken with Knack. Spin off of Liam Nielsen. Anyone? No one? Okay. I didn't think so. Huge fan of that movie though. First one was good. Second one was kind of eh. And we'll see if there's ever a sequel to Knack here. I think they're kind of going for like the Crash Bandicoot thing with Knack for like the new generation. Trying to make him a series. Wow! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on guys. I don't want to fight. I just want to ask you a question. Want to know where you got that sharpened? Oh, you can't tell me anymore? You are dead. Come on, goblin. I will make you disintegrate just like your brothers. Just like that. Yes. Oh, more guys to ask a question. Where did you get that hat? Oh, the hat... Uh, oh, oh, he's dead. I like that hat he was wearing, too. Shoot. I would guess that's Gundahar's fleet. No need to have others pillage and plunder for you when you can do it yourself. Ryder, what do you see? Are they here to stay or just visiting? It looks like a smash and grab. They're gathering up relics and sunstones and heading back out. The Doc and I will spread around the trackers and hope they pick one up. Knack, do what you can to keep my town in one piece. Will do. The old snatch and grab. The Goblin Invasion. So we're going to cut the episode off here, guys. Sorry if it was a little bit shorter. I don't know the time, but I like to start fresh at the new chapters. Next time, we will take out this guy with the purple grape jelly gun. I might just open my mouth and let him shoot me a couple times. See you next time.